Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos for you today. But first, a word from us, your sponsors. Guys, thank y'all so much for mm -hmm. continuing to support the Angry Joe Show. Every once in a while, we gotta remind you that if you wanna support us and have that backbone, cause our uh, top 10 milk. angry videos, the movies videos, got <laughs> age restricted, all these other things. The last two weeks of news. It's Blame been Alex. pretty bad, yeah, because of what Alex <laughs> has been <laughs> saying. Uh, form the backbone of the mobile infantry on Patreon, which directly supports us, allows us to continue making that content. Please consider going up over there and uh, directly supporting us. And it's us. fucking awesome. And it's fucking awesome, right. Stop it's, cursing. It's only one. It's only one. <laughs> That's what's actually... We had, <laughs> I know. There was like a hundred F words in some of these videos. We gotta... Yeah, I made Alex count them, and he was like, there's 95 in this one. I was like, 95? <laughs> Holy shit. Shit, well, we yeah. only had it was like a 30 minute video <laughs> so anyways uh i just want to remind you guys of our patreon it really does help when those things happen uh so if you hadn't considered it before please consider it now and we can make some awesome videos together for uh mm -hmm. you this year all right so uh alex what the hell has been going on in gaming news uh roblox is a shitty fucking company and i don't know how they continue <laughs> to operate uh they make a they have a wonderful platform and people absolutely love it um, yeah. but they are now losing this last quarter they lost 325 million yeah yeah uh, and they estimate that next year or this this year they're going to lose as much as 1.4 billion mm. um wow this is so, a long con for a write-off or something. Yeah. So <laughs> what is going on? So the the revenue they just they're paying out too much and their costs are too much and you know they're trying to build something this kind of like YouTube wasn't forever ago, right? Like there was mm -hmm. this company, they're like, hey, we're, we, we know that it's something, people want this, we just have to figure out how to monetize it in a way that, that has it make sense, yeah. and they still haven't done it mm. um, because it's, it's bad. Like this last year, they lost $1.16 billion. That's uh, a lot of money. Last, the year before, they lost $934 million. Um, this cannot be sustained. Yeah, and so you know they've got investors pumping in because they're the tr they they have said I want to get to a billion daily active users, which is which is kind of it's kind it's of a, it's silly. It's a lot. It's a silly. That's I mean they have they have seventy one million, and like if you don't know, a million is is this much, and a billion is 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 a lot is a lot <laughs> lot 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 more than than you think it is because people apparently don't know what a billion a billion what actually a trillion is. Alex. Yeah. A trillion. a trillion active users, <laughs> uh, and, they have se and they only have seventy million. Se seventy, seventy, like that's a lot. Seventy one million. I mean, that's yeah, a lot. That's yeah. a when we're talking about billions, yeah, yeah, it's, okay, it, it's a lot. So, I mean, they they've got plans to to advertise better, to have uh, you know more more content, and mm -hmm. continue to grow different markets. So, but you know, if someone like, hey, Roblox is closing its doors because you can't sustainably lose a billion dollars a year unless you're, yeah. you're meta and you're working on your stupid uh, meta world, then... It's hard for me to fathom how Roblox would end up doing that just because there's so many children that play it, yeah. so many kids, and I just don't see it going away, but who knows? If it continues to lose money like that, it kind of has to. Yeah. You know, but something's gonna have to change. It's so weird. How are they losing so much money when all the kids, you know, people that I know and our families play it? So yeah. it's a massively successful as far uh, as engagement goes. It's just the the you know running the, the company itself yeah. isn't making Start money. Other top. people are making money off it. Yeah. Okay. Start from the top. Yeah. So you cut costs. Well, you also you worry if you're a Roblox <laughs> creator that is like making money on this platform. One of the things you're worried about is them going, "Ah, oh, we're just gonna start paying people a lot less. We're gonna advertise a lot more, and that's gonna, you know, it starts to squeeze squeeze yeah. people." So yeah, uh, we got big news this week from Disney and Epic. Disney is gonna develop a new persistent universe with Epic, and is going to be pumping in about a 1.5 billion dollars. So so whatever Roblox lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There, the the Disney is like, oh yeah, that's chump change. Let me. It is, but they're still losing money. Let with me all pump that into movies. Epic. Okay, yeah. to make a universe. Yeah. So where they where consumers can play, watch, shop, and engage with content, characters, and stories from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, Avatar, and more. Um, you know, big, big, big plans. Now Disney's been in video games for for a long time. I mean, they're technically, <laughs> you know. Spider-Man is technically Disney, kind of, and so it's like there's Bar a lot, there, there's a lot of a lot of things that you know 
that, that Disney does in the video game space. Is it, does it say, money. is that money used to creating a universe, or is it just putting it all under the umbrella of $1.5 billion for our properties, meaning new video games? So a video game based on Disney princesses, a video game based on Star Wars and Marvel characters and these kinds of things. Or is it building out some kind of subservice on Epic Game Store where you can click a button, create your avatar, and then go into a Second Life type world so that you could go into the Disney store and shop and buy a plushie online? You know what I mean? It seems like it's both. And so the the goal is to create new games and then an entertainment universe. So it's something kind of like more... Immersive. And that's that, and that's ultimately good news because whatever percentage of that money is going to go towards new video game development jobs and new jo- new games within uh, these universes that we like. For example, you know they might even throw in Star Wars Outlaws under that because technically it's a Disney property and you're building the universe of Star Wars. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Helldivers came out. The- because I think if they made like that little VR, I mean, they should learn a lesson from Meta, which, you know, completely failed with their their investing billions of dollars into the virtual. The real estate. Tens of billions. The virtual VR Walmart real estate. But I didn't have legs. I, if I don't have legs, I can't play. So, <laughs> yeah. I need, I need to see. All right. So this is more overarching yeah. stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Helldivers 2 came out. We, uh, we yeah, gave it a shot, boy. so check the, uh, the, the Twitch VOD um, or check it out on AGS Live when it, when it gets yeah, posted. We yeah, really, we really enjoyed it. And hopefully, uh, uh, I mean, I'm knee deep in, in Suicide Squad, and then I had to pause all that so that we could play the extremely boring Skull and Bones, and we kind of knew that it. That game is amazing. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Don't jump ahead. <laughs> I'm not. And I, then, I'm just saying the game was amazing. And then, <laughs> and so, and then we played a little Hell Divers in between there, yeah. and it was the bright spot amongst what we were doing. I was uh, playing all weekend. It was great. Yeah, it had a very rocky launch for the first couple hours, and it, people were worried, right? Because huh. they had certainly. I didn't see that. Well, we played. We played I think later. A PlayStation oh, yeah. Yeah. or something, right? Well, oh. their servers oh, were just cross. Yeah, on the co- yeah. on the consoles. Crossplay yeah. wasn't working. There was issues like yeah. well into the week. Weekend with the the archaic anti cheat that honestly you don't need it you don't need a fucking anti cheat and a non competitive you know third person <sighs> for a, fun yeah. thing what are you doing but anyway they got all that stuff resolved they went into crisis mode and this is kind of how you do it right it's their small company they're like this is important we have to fix it and they did and it's. Now, PlayStation's biggest PC launch by a factor of two. Massive success for a company of this size. Good. And so this is, you know, I mean. One I was looking forward to as well. Mm. Yeah. So this is a kind of a, it's a great little success story. It's, you know, they made, oh, a, they, love it. They made a good game. Mm-hmm. It's super fun. Mm-hmm. They fixed their, their issues right away. And, you know, they've got a good, uh, you know, philosophy on, on when it comes down to, like, things like monetization, where they're like, hey, we have to earn the right to monetize our Yeah, game. it's all that news story. Yeah. It's like the only pay-to-win gun is, is this little pistol that makes you look cool. It's for an, achi- it's like for an achievement type about? thing, yeah. Oh, can you yeah, see I still don't Steam? like pay-to-win bullshit. But like, I, can you see on Steam? It, it was mixed before. I was like, oh. Because oh, it was a good game. Oh, we had, we, it we, was yeah. probably the launch. Yeah, it was the, the launch. launch. Right. That's what I'm thinking of it. Move, yeah, and people were upset about about the the kernel level anti cheat, but mostly positive. I, I you know, okay. it, I think that I, I, they hate cheaters as much as we do. Fuck cheaters! But I don't, yeah, yeah, don't want to be dropping but, with yeah. that one idiot who, uh, you know, we got our crew, so it's fun. Yeah, for we, us. Got so we, don't crew, need, we got our crew. We got our crew. But majority of people don't have like three friends to call up at. Every, any time, at yeah. any moment, yeah. and so you, you're gonna be dropping with some fucking morons, which I love. I, w- I just want you to play the the meme up here, right? Okay, you know it's like I'm doing my part. I'm oh yeah, doing my part. What I ain't do shit. I ain't do fucking shit. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs> which. Yeah, that happens in this game if you go without your. Bullets. I hate it when they just throw like a whole bunch of bombs. I'm like. Warn me. Yeah, what was it me? But that's what I love. It was flippy. It was flippy. It's you, Joe. What are you talking about? (laughs) You're like, OJ, did you throw a bunch of mines down? He's like, maybe. He threw (laughs) mines everywhere. We had to go around the mines. But this is part of why I like Helldivers so much is it's dangerous (laughs) out there. Especially when you drop with OJ. It's realistic, (laughs) friendly fire, and you have to always make sure that a bullet is not entering the back of your skull you got to make sure, okay, Joe's over here. Okay, I'll lay fire down in this direction. I upgraded my mines to uh, incinerary. 
Oh, fun. <laughs> yes. I will have to yeah. play some more. <laughs> At least I will die warm. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, and bad news. Uh, Sony is losing another library in their in the like the PlayStation library. It's the Funimation app is officially sunsetting in April. Uh, and that Funimation means, is being shut down. Yeah. Wow. So uh, yeah. uh, Funimation users who purchase digital copies of anime shows and movies on the platform won't be able to access them on Crunchyroll. <laughs> so there's a way to like kind of transfer things over and merge accounts. But if you purchase any of that stuff, you're not going to be able to get it. Um, and this is something that you know we're going to continue Jeez. to talk about as people's libraries go digital, mm. and you don't you don't own them. You don't own them. You only ha- you're pay- you're kind of like digitally renting them. You pay for a license, but at any given time, when two companies disagree or a licensing contract that you're not aware of as a consumer expires, you just don't have it. So too bad that you pay twenty dollars for something that you like to watch. Mm. Yeah. It's just fucking gone. Sucks. Yeah. So. It, uh, I but like that it. gives uh, some reason to continue to buy, you know, DVDs so you know that nobody could take that away from you. If yeah. they stop making them. Oh. Yeah. Well, you you buy the ones that are made right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can go to, go to eBay and be like, oh, this is not worth $1,000 right now. It's like, well, do you want it or not? <laughs> what fucking show is worth $1,000, Joe? Digital stuff? Mm. I'm, I'm pretty sure the prices are going to go up for digital stuff now. What? Oh, not digital. I mean, not the physical. Phys- physical. Physical copies. Physical copies. Yeah. yeah. And like, uh, no. You don't think so? Mm-mm. There's, no. there's money. Oh, you're talking made. about Snatcher on Sega CD. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you dollars. talking about those people <laughs> like that. There's going to be people like that. Yeah. A DVD uh, box sets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Collectors. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's, it's expensive to produce those things. They want you. I mean, the people who make who own the licenses want you to purchase them on their their website or streaming service. Like, hey, don't no don't don't buy the, the thing. Just get you know HBO. What's up, Max anymore? Right? Is it called Max? Max. Just yeah. call they, it they, like, Max. Whatever the they, fuck they it is. Oh, it is Max instead yeah, of HBO it. Max. Yeah, you say HBO, stupid go, change. HBO, and then Max. Yeah, and they made you download a new app, yes. even though they simply changed the name. Man, yes. fuck you, Warner Brothers. <laughs> fuck you, Warner Brothers. <laughs> You're still, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Warner Brothers. Your, your next story is. Oh yeah, you want me to do, uh, go into it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Warner Brothers. I put this one on my phone because I was uh, I was scrolling through some stuff. So I said, "What? What did you just fucking say?" <laughs> okay, it says uh, WB Games CEO says that Superman Legacy's upcoming release doesn't mean that there's an obligation to make a Superman game. So he wanted to let everybody know. This is how much they hate Superman, Joe. I just want to let y'all know that I don't have to make a Superman game, all right? Like, I'm, we're over here begging for a Superman game, and there's not news stories. Well, there could be opportunity to make a game. No, the CEO is walking around bragging about I how gotta he, do I got to do shit. I ain't got to do fucking shit. <laughs> As the studio attempts to explore its numerous IPs, so you're trying the to create ones. more games from your IPs, WB Games expands on DC Studios co-chairs James Gunn's goal to have the same actors across film, television, and gaming. So he was being asked about that stuff because, you know, James tried to do that thing. If you're, if you're yeah. a voice actor for the character in the animated thing... If there's a live action, then they'll use you, and then also they try to use you for the voice of the the games. But that's gonna be real expensive, and I th- I think this motherfucker's a little upset over it, a little upset where it's like, okay, so every time we do, you know, Superman or Batman, we have to use the voice of the actor, you and the actor's gonna come to the negotiation table knowing that, like, all right, yeah. You got to pay me this much because mm-hmm. the initiative is that, you know, you always have to use. So I think he's just salty. And, uh, and that's why they're going with no names and unna- like because you can afford to pay. I mean, what they pay Gal Gadot like 250000 for the first one for the first Wonder Woman movie. Like they paid her nothing. Um, really? Yeah, it was it was really mm. it was really low. And so if you hire these people that are just kind of up and coming, you can be like, hey, you sign this contract, we'll give you a little more, but you are required to do these things. Yeah. Um, so uh, I basically was like, okay, there might be a small hope that I could get a Superman game when <laughs> Superman Legacy comes out. I mean, that's going to be the best time, right? Yeah, no, if I there's agree. going to I be agree. a time that it's going to be made, so, yes. it's going to be that. Now, I don't know why I'm asking for that because – Historically, my dumbass knows that those types of games are shit. 
official. The movie, movie license. license games are shit. There's only a few small instances. There's a Vin Diesel one. The Chronicles of Riddick on Xbox. That was a good one. There was uh, like fast one. Tataculos. <laughs> Tataculos. Oh, you remember. I don't even remember the name of the Fast and Furious game. One Crossroads. at Crossroads. That's what it was. Yeah. I remember how they were positioning at the Game Awards. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> and they're gamers themselves. If they're gamers themselves, they know that game will fucking oh, shit. He, he, yeah. Uh, so he said, um, what did he say? Frankly, there hasn't been as close a relationship between the studio and the games business as there should have been. And James is actually a gamer, so having someone who's passionate about it is super helpful, said the Warner Brothers CEO. Uh, and that Warner Brothers Games is actively working with Gunn and Sefran on the core franchises within the DC Universe. So there's conversations going on right now with motherfucking James and Warner Brothers Games. Yeah, so we'll see. It's a Peacemaker game mm -hmm. starring John Cena. And, and James Gunn's wife. Peacemaker kills and Superman. James Gunn's brother. So, like, they got excited and started asking more questions. And then he said, well, while we're working on a Superman movie title, we're not going to launch a Superman game purely because we feel obligated. We have to do something that makes sense for the gaming strategy and for fans and for the consumer. Yeah, that's what they always have in mind. Oh, they have all the best interests of the fans and the consumer. Not them. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. And when he uses words like, we have to find the best strategy, that's going to. Oh, no, Joe. What'd you do? It's going to be a Superman mobile game. <sighs> when when he's using not. words like strategy, we got to find the best. I don't want to spend too much money. I haven't seen what the Superman games, they're all disasters. And we want this to fly under the radar and get money. It's going to be a fucking mobile tie in. Yeah, I hope that's. Not. I mean, that's. Well, I mean, I, it's gonna uh, make money. It'll make money. <sighs> Probably better than. I mean, we just played this game with Superman, and it wasn't very good. No, it wasn't. trust that that studio to. Or in his words, I don't have to make a Superman game. Yeah. Well, when's that movie come out? In a couple of years, right? At twenty twenty five. Yeah, there's nowhere near enough time for them to to make a good start. one yeah, right now, like, unless they're already working you know, on one. Well, mo again, and yeah. keeping it super secret, which I doubt. They so only fired Henry moment. like last year, so like there's no way they had, they had enough time to. Uh, to but Henry, that doesn't matter with the, you know gaming uh, development. You could build, you could have been working secretly, like uh, WB Montreal could be building assets. They can easily change a character model at the very end. But I don't think they're working on one. I feel I feel like one would have been leaked. I mean, the leaks that we got ended up being killed the Justice League because the uh, Rocksteady was working on Metropolis, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, these motherfuckers are working on a Superman game. They're building Metropolis." Yeah, well, <sighs> did you feel like you were Metropolis? It was great. No. We we killed Superman with guns. No. Yeah. It was it was good. It was good. He had. Uh, and then, the, and then our loot was a, a gun. We still got. Uh, he dropped. I got like my first Bizarro. gun was the best one I had in the entire game. Even after we got that legendary, mm -hmm. it still sucked. Yeah, I've been yeah. playing some of the end game. They, they they drop more of the gun, but it's just it's the well, exact they need same to, missions. They need and I'm getting my ass. I actually might need y'all to fucking play some of the end game with me because solo. Yeah, you, really you think multiplayer is bad? It's it's really really bad solo. Oof. Try to do end game. All right, I'm depressed. Go move. The the next no next video. Uh, Steam uh, next fest just ended, and we played. Uh, oh, that's a, me. A, a that's me of, again. A bunch of games. Yeah. Oh man, uh, I feel like crying. Uh, <laughs> Superman mobile game. <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, so my dumbass decided to try to do the Steam next fest this year. And there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games. Them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was thinking about putting together a video, but shit, Steam Next Fest is over. So if I make a video on it, then you can't download any of the games. But you can at least know about the good ones. So we downloaded 50, 50 motherfucking games. And there was a lot of shit. And if you want to make, you want me to make a video on that, maybe I can. But, um... A few of them rose to the top, so let me share with you some of the good ones uh, that we encountered. Uh, if you like, uh, I, Dungeon Born wouldn't work for me. 
Ace Center Please Anti Cheat kept cra cra crashing on me. It worked for you, right? Yeah, it's basically a dark and darker. It's basically a dark and darker clone, right? But yeah. the dark and darker clone that did work for me was Dungeon Stalkers, <laughs> and that is uh, dark and darker with titty. If you like the titty, if you like the booba, and you like the ass, and then the dark packages, and, and then yeah. get Dungeon Stalkers or be aware of Dungeon Stalkers. Oh, my body armor fell off. <laughs> No, you press a button spandex. and your body arm and your body armor fall off. <laughs> now this is not an adult game. It's just that's just the way it was built. That one of your special powers mm -hmm. rips your armor off and makes you invulnerable. It's hilarious. Uh, Pacific Drive looks really really fun. It's uh, like a road <laughs> light where you're driving like a station wagon in in, a, in this fucking crazy ass uh, anomaly world. Uh, Welcome to Paradise. Me and Joe played. It was like zombies. Another, do you want to play a zombie game? <laughs> it's like, well, it looked cool, but the multiplayer yeah. wasn't working yet. Wasn't working yet, but you yeah. control the zombies by yeah. taking them. The one of the big ones I do want to let everybody know around about is called abiotic, a abiotic, a bio, abiotic factor. Basically, it was like Half Life. It's like Half Life Three. Only if Half Life Three was inside, it was a survival game like Ark, you know, with dinosaurs and shit. Only with the aliens and inside the Black Mesa facility. It's fucking cool as shit, man. Um, and then Homeworld Three, uh, but you know, it was uh, performance, a lot of frame drops. So uh, Headquarters World War Two. It's a turn-based strategy game in um, World War II. And then glo a lot of RTSs I'm looking forward to. Global Conflagr Conflagration. Uh, difficult word to say. And then Thrive, Heavy Lies of the Crown is a medieval one. Me and Joe played Killer with Fire 2 mm. with the spiders. It's always fun. Uh, that's a good one. It's a local Br developer, too. Yeah. And then there was one that me and Joe played that's Demon Somnia. Remember that game? It's like this horror one made by, I don't know, like ch Chinese developers or I don't know what developers. The English was so bad, but it was actually kind of interesting and creative, all the different aspects. So it's one of those where you have to find what type of demon is inside the yeah, house. Those, but they have a lot of stuff phobia. outside the house where you chase goats in forests. You're chasing goats. I don't know. It was, it, was, it was crazy. It was funny. And then, believe it or not, Tribes 3 is back with it. Or Tribes is back with a new game, Tribes 3 Rivals. I fucking sucked ass at it. So, anyway, so those are the ones that I found that uh, there's some more on here, but I don't want this to be five five hours long. So, maybe uh, if y'all want, and I can do a video on, on some of those to keep an eye out. But those are some of those right there. All right, well. Thank you all guys very much, and thank you for supporting the Angry Joe Show. If you want to make sure that we can keep making content the way we always make it, consider contributing to us on Patreon and forming that backbone of the mobile infantry. We appreciate it and and yeah. so much it really does matter a lot to us and uh we love doing these videos for you so uh check it out in the links below and we will see you in part two of the news and on the next angry joe show bye guys